Hey, I'm Kerry. I'm the host of Best of Us Investors. As you saw in the thumbnail, went out to the beach to celebrate the buying opportunity of a lifetime. And I mean that. This is a buying opportunity of a lifetime. And I think it's important for you to understand what's available to you in right now and how you should seize this opportunity. It's not doom and gloom. It's not that the world is coming to an end and your portfolio is going away. It's that there are some wonderful companies that are on sale. There is some innovation that is coming that is going to change the way you live. You have to know that. And you also need to recognize that through some mismanagement, and we've had it before, we had it in the dot-com bubble, we've had it in the subprime crisis, our government and, and our, our business leaders really aren't experts like we think they are. They screw up, and they screwed up in this uh, pandemic pandemic situation by throwing $9 trillion, 40% uh, increase in the money supply. So you've got to have inflation. You've got oil companies that were giving gas away during the pandemic. So they've got to raise their prices to get back on steady ground. This is nothing new. It is nothing to be unexpected. I want, I'm going to show you in this video exactly what is going to happen and where you need to put your money to take advantage of the best investment opportunity in your lifetime. This is not financial advice. This is financial education. And why can I educate you in this? Because I've been through it before. I've seen it. And so I know what's going to happen. I know what's who are going to be the winners, and I want to share it with you because I think it's important that you figure out what I figured out. You connect the dots. Not financial advice. Subscribe and support the channel, and I'll give you the best education you're going to receive. Best of Us Investors presents Kerry Griegmeier. Okay, the first thing I want you to do is take a look at this spreadsheet. This is a spreadsheet I put together about the history of Apple, Microsoft, Google, Amazon, uh, and, and NVIDIA. And in this chart, I want you to see the highlighted lines that I put across there because they highlight the subprime crisis and, and the dot-com bubble. And I want you to see the, uh, the percentage of drop in value that these main stocks had during these disruption periods, during these um, crisis periods. And, and you're going to recognize this has happened before. Then look at the numbers following the yellow numbers, and you'll see that they just went up. You're going to see that if you had just put $10,000 in each one of these accounts, how it would grow through the lifetimes of those stocks. All you have to do is recognize the power that they have, the place they're going to fit into our world's economy and stick with them. Then you got to determine, are they in fact sustainable or are they going to be a victim? And you'll notice the last one on the chart is Facebook. And if you've seen my videos, I've sold all my Facebook because I believe Facebook is going to go the cha the direction of magazines. Um, Time Magazine is not what it used to be. Some of you don't even know what Look and Life Magazine were. They were the premier magazines. They went the route of Sears Roebuck. They didn't keep up with the times. Well, I don't believe Facebook is keeping up with the times. If you've seen some of my videos, you know that I believe that in the future, Advertising will be targeted directly to me, and I will not need an intermediary like Facebook to deliver it to me. Now, do I believe Facebook has a future in the metaverse? Yeah, if Mark can get his stuff together, I do. 
But today, I needed that $50,000 to invest in other investments where I'll get a higher return on my investment. And I've shared those investments with you. I'm not going to go over them again. So you can go back to my prior videos and you can see where I'm investing. I'm investing in uh, Apple's new um, electric vehicle. I'm investing in uh, artificial intelligence entrance into pharmaceuticals. I'm investing into uh, genome sequencing, uh, which is, is starting to come to fruition. So I'm investing in the future. Again, I'm going to use a quote from Wayne Gretzky. You don't skate to the puck. You skate to where the puck is going. If you'll turn on CNBC right now, if it's on, they're going to be talking about where the puck is today. Inflation, um, higher interest rates. What's Jerome Powell doing? You're skating to the puck. It ain't going to be there when you get there. Because that's today's information. Tomorrow's information is what you need to skate towards. I'm going to share something with you that is brand new to me that I think you need to recognize. Who has made the most money in the past 20 years? Give me some names. Elon Musk would be one of them. Uh, how about Jeff Bezos? How about Sergey Bream and Larry Page? How about Mark Zuckerberg? Who did they make their money off of? Did they make it by inventing something that was new and different and improved your life? They brought it into your home and made it better? No, they made it off your back. That is, they collected your data and understand what you were going to buy next and then sold advertising against it. Is that fair? Are you aware that if Elon Musk took his $44 billion that he's willing to pay for Twitter and distributed it through every living being in the world, we would all be multimillionaires? Yeah, Divide the world's population into 44 billion and see what you come up with. Is that fair? No, it's not. Is, is it fair that Jeff Bezos puts William Shratner into a rocket and sends him up for 19 seconds into space on your money? Yeah, it's your money because Jeff sells advertising against your data. So what has to happen? What will happen? Legislation will be passed. It says that Carrie's data is Carrie's data. And whoever has it has to negotiate with Carrie for the use of it. That's what's going to happen. And so Amazon, Google, Apple, Microsoft, Facebook will each contact me and say, hey, we want to continue to use your data to, to sell advertising. Okay, well, I want 60% of what you get, Mark, or Jeff, or Sergey. I want 60%. And so we enter into a preliminary agreement. And then Sergey comes forward and says, I'll give you 65%, Carrie. Okay particularly if you're a buyer. If you're not a buyer, if you just sit there and try to milk your internet connection, I'm not going to give you 10%. But if you're a buyer and I will collect that data and I will know whether you're a buyer or not, I will pay you 65% for your data of what I collect on it. That's what's going to happen in the future. And I am going to be, I am going to determine who can. I don't wear New Balance shoes. I wear Nikes. So I will sell my data to Nike at a premium, but it will be negotiated through Jeff, through Amazon Web Services. That's what's coming in the future. And if you know that, and if you understand it, and if you read about blockchain and come to an understanding of how it can happen, you're going to know where to invest.
you're no going to know what to sell. So that's just one of the changes that is going to happen in the world. And if you recognize that and you can put yourself in a position to take advantage of it, you can become very wealthy. There are some other areas of change. I got a in- interesting email from Anwar Agbal. An- Anwar is a member of our tribe, of uh, my tribe. He he uh, shares information with me so that I can make better investment decisions. That's how we work. If if you aren't working with other people in this game actively, if you aren't going to Starbucks and meeting with a group of people to discuss what has happened in this week's stock market, you're you're behind the eight ball. You're you're terminal. You need help. So build a community. If you can't build a community, come to my community. It's it's right there, Best of Us Investors. You'll find a link to it in uh, our Discord in in the in the uh, directions or the, the in the description. So I want to share with you this short video that Anwar sent to me about protein sequencing and how the world is changing. And I want you to challenge you to listen to what this lady says and then understand how the world is changing and how if you get in front of it, if you know the companies that are going to make what she's talking about happen, you can become filthy rich. Okay, watch this video. We have entered an entirely new era of medicine. Having learned to speak the language of mRNA, the language of life, we can now use it to create medicines that are just for one person, like a personalized cancer vaccine, or can be rapidly produced and um, distributed to entire populations like the COVID-19 vaccines. And the best part? The best part is we're simply tapping in to your body's own ability to make its own medicines. Creating and maintaining a healthy human requires the combined action of over 100,000 different types of protein. And our bodies make them all. Thus, our bodies are remarkable protein factories. At the molecular level, the numbers are truly mind-blowing. Each of the 30 trillion cells in your body, that's three with 13 zeros, contains between one and 10 billion protein molecules. That means that you have as many protein molecules in your body as there are stars in the known universe. Like proteins, messenger RNAs are long uh, chain-like molecules composed of building blocks. As their name implies, messenger RNAs carry messages, messages that are translated by your body in order to create proteins. If there's a protein that's missing to treat a disease, then we could simply give a few copies of an mRNA to the body for it to produce that protein. There is a coming uh, tsunami of mRNA medicines. Um, Last year, Moderna and AstraZeneca reported positive results from a clinical trial where patients who, during open-heart surgery, were dosed with messenger RNA injected directly into their heart muscles that told their heart muscles to grow new blood vessels in order to get around clogged arteries. And for cancer patients, we're creating personalized cancer vaccines. These vaccines are meant to train their bodies, their immune systems to attack their cancers. For patients with autoimmune disorders, we can send in signals that tamp down their overactive immune systems. Because messenger RNA vaccines can be produced so quickly uh, and rapidly, uh, they're, they're, they're really well suited for newly emerging diseases as well as other um, viruses like the flu that, uh, for, that new, where new variants come out every year and the vaccines need to be updated. Now, vaccines are only the beginning. As uh, said before, the uh, advent of mRNA vaccines is heralding in an entirely new era of medicines. mRNAs give us the ability to not only prevent disease, but also treat previously um, intractable disorders. This is the opportunity of your lifetime. You should be taking your portfolio right now 
and getting rid of your weak stocks, those stocks that are not going to play in the future. As I said, my first choice was Facebook. I liquidated so I could invest in what I just described to you. I encourage you to do that as well. Become a student of the stock market. Understand what's going to happen and that the world, as it changes, it rewards the companies that implement and make that change possible. It's not that difficult. You recognize undervalued assets. Are, am I saying that Amazon, Google, Apple, Microsoft are currently undervalued? If they're not now, they probably will be next week. The, we have not, I don't believe, experienced the flush yet. I want you to go to a chart on QQQ. Find it in your in, in your trading views is a good place to look. Look at the volume that occurred at the bottom of the subprime crisis and then look at the volume at the bottom of of the dot-com bubble. On the subprime crisis in one day, it got up to over 100 or 1 billion shares traded. Today, it's at roughly 300 million. So we have, we have a ways to go to where everybody says, or the weaklings say, I'm getting out, I'm bailing. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to be a part of this anymore. When that flush occurs and you can see it in the volume, that's when you buy Amazon, Google, Microsoft, Apple. They are going to basically create your universal wage. They're going to be forced to share their fortunes with you. It is not fair that Elon could spend $44 billion or make everybody in the world a multimillionaire. It's going to change. It has to change. Why does it have to change? Because that's what's fair. I'll talk to you more about this in the future. 